watching CBS 2 News. Here's the latest at 5.30. Now at 5.30, 1 million COVID-19 cases in the U.S. in a single day. It's so for more on this, joining us is Dr. Nicholas Testa. He's the Chief Medical Officer of D Dignity Health Southern California Division. Dr. Testa, President Biden and local health officials have said this surge is very different than last winter's COVID wave or the onset of the pandemic. So what differences are you seeing right now? So the, there's two main differences. One is Omicron is uh, is different, right? So we know that it's, it's vastly more contagious. And so we're seeing a, a far a more uh, sharp spike in the number of cases, which is really causing an influx of patients into the emergency departments right now. The other thing that's different is that we have a vaccine in place that is highly effective. And with 80% of Los Angeles vaccinated, um, we're seeing decreased um, admissions to the hospital and to the intensive care unit. But that doesn't change the fact that our EDs right now are becoming inundated with COVID patients. Well, you know, President Biden at least said his administration is now doubling the amount of Pfizer's COVID antiviral pills. So what will these pills mm -hmm. do? What impact will they have on the treatment at local hospitals? So, so um, the new antivirals uh, are a, a, a great step forward um, when we have them and when we can use them. Um, that's still um, a week, two weeks out. And even once we have them, we probably will not have enough uh, for every single patient. So we'll have to decide the most appropriate patients. So, so what I would ask of the public is that we not focus on things that are coming, but the things that we have that we know that work, which are vaccines. We still have 2 million Los Angelinos who have not received a vaccination, and they are our most vulnerable population right now. So I, I implore that group to get vaccinated. And doctor, something we've heard is that the uh, Omicron variant has been known to produce milder symptoms than other variants, especially for those who are vaccinated and boosted. So what should people do if they're currently experiencing those mild COVID-like symptoms? Should, should they seek out treatment from their doctor or what? It's a great question. And, you know, this goes back to the beginning of the pandemic where those uh, patients who were infected and, but doing relatively well and had more of the general cold symptoms should stay home isolate, monitor their symptoms, protect those around, and they're going to get better. Um, now, call your doctor, use telehealth. Um, if you feel you need to see a physician, then see your doctor in the office. Do not come to the emergency department unless you are short of breath, unless your pulse ox drops and you're monitoring at home, unless you have chest pain, unless your fever gets above 104, because right now our emergency departments are inundated with COVID patients who have relatively mild to moderate symptoms, but also those who are just trying to get tested. The ED is not the correct place to get tested. All right, uh, Dr. Testa, thank you so very much for bringing us this information. Definitely something that our, our audience is uh, glad to hear. Thanks so much. Thanks for what you're doing.